Here are some geomorphology concepts for your grade 12 exam. Drainage Basin A drainage basin is the area of land drained by a river and its tributaries. All the rain that falls in this area flows into the same main river. Drainage Pattern A drainage pattern is the shape or arrangement of rivers and streams in an area. It depends on the slope, rock type and structure of the land. Tributary A tributary is a small river or stream that flows into a larger river. It adds water to the main river and helps drain the basin. River capture River capture happens when a powerful river cuts through a divide and captures the flow of a weaker river. The captured river's water then flows into the stronger river's channel. River rejuvenation River rejuvenation happens when a river gains new energy and starts eroding its bed more deeply. It is usually caused by uplift of land or a drop in sea level. Cross profile A cross profile is a side view of a river valley from one side to the other. It shows how the shape of the valley changes from the upper course to the lower course. Longitudinal profile A longitudinal profile is a side view of a river from its source to its mouth. It shows how the river's slope becomes gentler as it moves downstream. Permanent river A permanent river has water flowing all year round. It is fed by regular rainfall or groundwater throughout the year. Seasonal river A seasonal river only flows during the rainy season. It dries up in winter or dry months when there is little or no rain. Stream ordering Stream ordering is a way of classifying rivers and streams based on their position in a drainage network. When two streams of the same order join, they form a higher order stream. Watershed A watershed is the high ridge or boundary that separates one drainage basin from another. Rain that falls on either side of a watershed flows into different rivers. Confluence A confluence is the point where two or more rivers or streams meet. It is usually where a tributary joins the main river. Source of a river The source of a river is the starting point of the river, usually found in mountains, springs or glaciers. It is where the river begins to flow. Mouth of a river The mouth of a river is a point where a river flows into the sea, ocean or lake. It is usually wider and slower than the river upstream. Catchment area A catchment area is the land area that collects rainfall and drains it into a river, lake or reservoir. It includes all the tributaries and streams feeding the main river. Nick Point A nick point is a sudden change in the slope of a river's bed, like a waterfall or rapid. It often forms due to uplift of land or erosion-resistant rock. Impermeable Rock Impermeable rock is a rock that does not allow water to pass through. It forces water to flow over the surface, increasing runoff in rivers and streams. Permeable rock Permeable rock is rock that allows water to pass through it. It absorbs rainfall, which can recharge groundwater and reduce surface runoff. Course The course of a river is the path a river takes from its source to its mouth. It is divided into three stages, upper, middle and lower course each with different features and characteristics. Base Level The base level is the lowest point to which a river can erode. For most rivers, the ultimate base level is the sea or a lake. Surface Runoff Surface runoff is the water that flows over the land surface after rain. It happens when the ground is full of water or made of impermeable rock. Groundwater Groundwater is water stored below the Earth's surface in pores and spaces of rocks and soil. It slowly moves through permeable rock and can feed rivers and wells. Water Table The water table is the upper limit of underground water where the soil and rocks are fully saturated. It can rise after heavy rain and fall during dry periods. Infiltration Infiltration is the process where water soaks into the ground from the surface. It depends on soil type, 
vegetation and how wet the ground already is. 